Hi and welcome to the Her Business Program, where we interview inspiring businesswomen and entrepreneurs. I'm Susie Daphnis of the Australian Business Women's Network. Today's guest is Ariel Hyatt. After being fired, Ariel decided she'd take her future into her own hands and started her business 15 years ago. Enjoy this interview with Ariel Hyatt. Ariel, tell us a little bit about how you got started. So I got started because I got fired. Um, I was working at a concert promotions company and I was in Boulder, Colorado, which is a very small, wonderful town. And I realized that if I wanted to survive, I'd have to make my own business up. And I've been doing that successfully for the past 15 years. And you're based in one of my favorite cities, New York. Um, is your work national, international, local? How does it work? My work is I run a digital PR firm called Cyber PR, and we help musicians and authors get the word out about their art. And it is international. I think our only barrier to entry is it has to be English speaking. Um, and so what we do is we help our artists and authors get exposure on blogs and podcasts and internet radio stations. And then we also educate them so they understand how to use social media to promote themselves. Well, that sounds like a really great niche, which brings me to ask, how has your industry changed over the last few years? PR is a very old um, industry. It is. And I started as a traditional PR firm in 1996, which I abandoned about five years ago. The PR industry has completely flipped on its head, which is not news. Um, and a lot of the tactics that we all used and used to use that used to be very effective no longer are because social media and online two-way communication has made it so no longer can you just blast out a one-way conversation and expect results. You've got to get engaged and that's what social media does. So traditionally we would send out a media release to maybe a journalist we didn't know, didn't know us and then we'd sit and wait or we might make a phone call to follow up. How do we approach PR differently now? Well, PR now can actually come directly from the individual and that's what's so great about it. You don't need to have a gatekeeper anymore to get the word out. You just need to understand how to use platforms like Facebook Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn to make real connections with people and get your message across. Are there any specific tips, a couple of tips you could give us around using those social media tools to PR? Sure. I think my, the primary thing I'd like to share is don't worry so much about numbers. It's okay if you don't have thousands or even multiple hundreds of people that are following you. You only need a core engaged audience of a few in order to make an impact. So it's better to understand who you're following and who's in your community on a micro level rather than try to get thousands and thousands of people on a macro level because it can be very, very effective once you begin to communicate with the people that follow you just to have a couple of hundred people in your immediate circle. But the right people. But the right people. So that goes to listening and watching and observing and then getting into community with those people. Great. As a business owner, what today are your biggest challenges? I think in today's economy with the sky is falling, being all over international news and everybody saying that there's a shortage of money, I think create your own economy would be my number one piece of advice. I think if you are a person that has something to provide of value, the economy will not stop you. A good idea and a supportive company that can help people will always shine through. So I would say don't be discouraged, carry on, do it mano a mano, one person at a time. It's amazing what an impact you can have with your own business promotion if you can just do it one step at a time. Finally, we're very big advocates of mentoring and we have an online mentoring program for women. Have you had some mentors? as you've grown your business? It's such a good question. In the music industry, classically, there's not a whole lot of mentoring that's gone on, not for me as an independent, but I'm very lucky I had my mom who has written many books for women about business and who was a woman business owner. So she's my number one mentor, and that's been a real blessing because I know a lot of women have mothers who were homemakers or stayed at home or, or didn't have, have that sort of 
um, big footprint in the world. So it, it's been really, I'm blessed. Great. And anything you'd like to leave us with? Um, if you have your own business and you're thinking about social media and getting your toes in the water, just dive in. It's not scary once you get wet. Great. Thank you. We look forward to having you in Australia later in the year. I can't wait to come. Cheers. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this interview with Cyber PR's Ariel Hyatt. I'm Susie Daphnis of the Australian Business Women's Network. We champion the success of business owners across Australia and leverage innovative technology and resources to provide training, networking, mentoring and advocacy that connects and inspires.